All right, we gotta make some emergency videos. Someone just sent me their quiz because they need help. I can't do your quiz for you, um, but I'll try to show you some general ideas behind the problems on your quiz. So this will be part one. Okay, let's say we have the nth root of x. Well, when you have a root like that, you can change that to x to the one over n. All right, and so let's make it a little bit more complicated. If we have the nth root of x to the m power, okay, first thing we do is that first step that I just showed you. So that's x to the one over n, and then we still have to remember this m exponent here. Now when you're raising an exponent to another exponent, you multiply. So you just multiply that m in there, and we have x to the m over n. Okay, now what if we have one over the nth root of x? Well, let's remember that we already showed the nth root of x is x to the one over n. So this will be one over x to the one over n. Now when exponents are in the denominator, you can change the sign and bring them up to the numerator. So this will be x to the negative one over n. All right, now how about if we have something in this form, a to the one over n, and we wanna move it back to the other form. So, that's, so we have this right here, and we wanna get it over here. You just take, you take the denominator of the exponent, and you put that in the root, so it'll be, the nth root of a. It's just the opposite of what we did of what we did up here. All right. Um, let's say we have the cube root of 250 m to the seven n to the ten. So what we need to do? We need to factor inside the radical. Group factors into the nth term powers, in this case, three. And we're gonna take those out and leave the rest inside. And uh, I'm actually gonna do this in the next video because we're running out of time. So I'll see you in part two. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.